Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Um, today we are going to finish the hallway. Today I'm actually doing the floors and I'm going to put up the carpet pieces on the wall where the cats like to scratch and that will basically take care of all of that. And I'm going to go ahead and sweep first and get the floor super clean. I need to mop it um, so that the sticky on the back of the peel and stick pieces will actually adhere to the floor. And um, yeah, so today we finally get to get this done. I'm so excited. Also, before I continue, I wanna let you guys know this is an endorsed video. That means that I was given some gifts to share with you guys. Um, this company called Navi Chic got a hold of me, oh, a few months ago and asked me if I would like to do a video or actually three videos for some free jewelry. And I said, sure, let's do it. And so today I'm actually wearing one of their pieces, the little gingerbread men. The thing about Navi Chic is their prices. Their prices are actually super good. It's very close to wish prices, but I think they're actually cheaper because I think each one of these was like maybe somewhere between 70 cents to a dollar for a set of earrings. They have necklaces, they got bracelets, they got all kinds of different things on there, but they're super, super inexpensive. And I have to say that their quality is really good for being so cheap. So I would go to their website and visit them and see if there's something there that you guys like. I think you could get some really great gifts for other people on here, but I will go ahead and put the website right here and you guys can go check that out when you're ready. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm probably gonna wind up cutting off for a little while to have some lunch and just try to get some other things done too. But anyway, I'm really, like I said, I'm super excited to finally get this part of the uh, home makeover done and over with because I'm not really looking forward to being on my knees while I'm doing this project, but I gotta do what I gotta do, so let's get it done. I wanna close my eyes and go back, play it in my mind. A movie of us two, yeah, we were happy at the time. Can't remember what it felt like. We used to be so strong. That picture perfect sky now and looks so great and cold. We've been playing here since 4 a.m. and you haven't said a word to me. Mm. Silent treatment is this what it feels like when your heart is sick and when it bleeds. If it's over. July got stuck out in the rain, but we danced around and didn't mind it. So young and reckless, baby, you and I fit just like a glove. But I guess that's over now. We've been playing here since 4 a.m. and you haven't said a word to me. the 
conversation and you seem to agree with me but when there's complications you withdraw and leave me to be when there's a problem you become like a wall and every time i trip it's a free fall why don't you help me the way i help you you don't have to save me just be my parachute when i'm feeling down you're just not there making sure i'm okay why don't you help me the way i help you I'm not gonna lie guys, I made a lot of edit cuts in this whole flooring process because being on the floor was unfortunately hurting my legs and my back, so there were many breaks. Ken had to come to my rescue a few times to help me get up because my legs kept falling asleep. But I will say that being on my bottom was much easier than being on my knees. Needless to say, I'm really glad that this process is over and I can now move on to other things that I really want to get done. I will also say that because I've been reminded that I am no longer in my mid-twenties and laying flooring at almost 50 years old is much, much harder, I am probably going to have to get help with the kitchen and my master bathroom. I might have to hire someone to come and put the flooring in that we purchase.
we really love the color variations of the flooring that we picked here at Home Depot. As you can see from the price, it's just over $47 a box of 15 slats. And when we bought the first box, it was only $36 a box. Now they've really raised the prices. Okay, so this part I couldn't get on video because of the time it was taking me to measure and make sure the cuts were being made correctly, but I basically wound up using a piece of paper to push against the wall and try to recreate the shape in order to use it as a template for cutting the slats. It worked much better on the corner between the bathroom and Lexi's room. But anyway, I was able to get all the little cuts made. I was able to get all the cuts for the pieces that had to go up against the rooms themselves. There are some spaces here. Um, they're very, very small. I'm actually going to wind up putting caulking in there. They have caulking tape that you can use now. Um, that stuff is pretty amazing. Um, so all the way down here, I have just the slightest bit of maybe a half inch gap or less. So that will be filled with caulking. But here you go. This is what it looks like when it's all finished. And unfortunately, I'm not going to have enough time this week to get the carpet on these sections here on the walls. So I'm going to have to go ahead and do that this week. I need to get some new types of nails and I'll be putting two on. Okay, so starting off, I actually found this oven liner and uh, gosh, we are notorious for putting something into the oven and then having it splash to the bottom and make a big mess. So when I saw this, I thought that would be a really good thing to buy. So I went ahead and got it. This was just about, this is just under $8. And then I saw this citrus and peach rose hand soap and decided to go ahead and get it. It was only like three and a half dollars, a little bit more than three, maybe like three forty-five, something like that. Um, and the stuff smells really, really good. So it was can approved. <laughs> But honestly, when he bought all those soaps before over at Bath and Body Works, I didn't pick out any of them. So I decided to go ahead and get this one because I chose it. So, and then I found um, some palettes over there and these were like, these were really cheap. These were $2 and uh, I want to say $2 and 18 cents for one of these. And I can always use a new palette and give me some different colors to kind of work with and try out and see if I like them. And I was running out of lip oil. I love, love, love this stuff. Um, I use this stuff for my skincare routine and basically this stuff I could put this on at night and when I wake up in the morning it's still on my mouth so I just want to say you know if you guys are looking for something to put on your lips at night this stuff is fantastic it's just a regular um, lip oil and this says lip gloss but it's oil and I'm really excited about it this was like eh, maybe $1.97 and over here, as you guys know, I have my little cocoa bar here. However, it's getting a little thin and all of the chocolates are gone. I added some marshmallows to the whole thing. My husband found this for me. I forget where, but we've been kind of adding this to the top. It's pretty nice, actually. It tastes pretty good. Um, but I went ahead and got some more candies to put into the jar. I um, got some Andes. got some of these little... Um, mint patties. These were individually wrapped and that's why I got them because I can put them in this jar here and not have to have them covered with a lid. So 
that worked out pretty well and I got some more Swiss Miss. All right, so we're gonna be making some brownies and this was only 98 cents over there and I thought I would add these to it. I don't know, what do you guys think? I asked my husband what he thought and he was all for it. So apparently we're gonna be putting in some Andy's mint baking chips into the into this mix here uh, to, before we bake it. I kinda can't wait to find out what that's like. We got some polar trees. I have not had these things in. I can't tell you the last time I had one of these. Um, kind of decided to get those only six, so I decided to get some as a treat. And I'm gonna be very good with them, and I know that my family will help me eat those, so it's not like I'm gonna be doing this by myself. We had to get some more butter, so we got some salted butter. Um, Nusa, okay, I don't know if you guys know this, but this stuff is fantastic. This stuff is so good. The raspberry is great, the peach is great, the lemon, this is my favorite actually. The lemon is great. It, yeah, it, it, and it's not expensive. It's like $1.44 or something like that for a container of this. And you can get about two servings out of it. So it's totally worth it. Um, and then I got some sour cream. All right, so sour cream, meat, mushrooms, and an onion. Because I'm making a beef stroganoff in the new Ninja crock pot. So that's what we did. We got two of these and they were see about that price which i think is actually not too terribly bad 672 and 762 so um <clears throat> let's see we got paper plates for the kitty cat food because when i give them moist food i like to put it on here um so that i can just toss it in the trash when they're done and then my husband picked these out these are one of his his favorites um so let's see oh broccoli sprouts okay so you guys might know this. Um, there has been a lot of talk over the years about broccoli being a cancer fighting food, and it really is a cancer fighting food. But I found out something very interesting about the broccoli sprouts. They're a lot more concentrated and they're a lot more potent when they are in the sprout form. So what I've been doing is buying them, putting them on salads, putting them on sandwiches, putting them in soups, things like that. And this stuff is so good. And I don't know, it's got a little bit of a bite to it. Like if broccoli had a little bit of a bite, but they are so, so good. And they're not like alfalfa sprouts. They don't taste like alfalfa sprouts. They taste like broccoli. Um, but just, I don't know, like a purer form, but they are so good. And then of course we need some more eggs because I made a dozen, um, uh, boiled eggs. So, um, Ken got some more popcorn. We love to have popcorn at least, I don't know, four or five times a week. So that's, that's one thing we love. Um, he decided to try this old bay seasoning. Um, apparently it's great for crabs, shrimp, and chicken. So we'll be using it on chicken. I know that for a fact. Let's see. What else did I not take out of the bag? Oh yes. That's right. He got a couple things of spray. Okay, he got a, a butter and an olive oil. And then, what else? Oh yeah, Rotel diced green chilies. Let's see. I know I have some olives in here somewhere. Oh, he got some corn. There were some things he put in the cart I didn't see, so anyway. So there's some corn. Um, my mom. Oh, more corn, okay. He must have a thing he's gonna do. And some more Rotel. Ooh, with habaneros. Yum. Okay. And are these my olives? Ha <laughs> ha. And my olives. So these are actually great for just a snack. I like to put these in the refrigerator and take them out and then just basically just eat them. They're a really good healthy fat, so. All right, let's see what else. And Lexi's Flame and Hot Lyman. Crunchy hot Cheetos. I can't stand those things. Those things do not taste good to me at all. But my kids love them. So that is it for the haul. Okay, guys. Well, that's it for today's video. As I said in the beginning of the video, this is actually part two of the hallway makeover because I still got stuff that I've got to get done. But part three will be seen next Tuesday at 10 a.m. Next week is part three and the final hallway makeover video. Also this Saturday, I will be answering all of the questions you guys left in the community posts that I left for you. And um, we're also gonna be talking about the New Year's resolutions that I have made for myself for 2024, which I don't normally do. I don't normally make those, 
but this year I feel that it's super important because the resolutions that I'm making are super important to my health. So if you guys have any resolutions that you're thinking about, maybe that's something that maybe we could do together and work on our resolutions and support each other. Also, 2024 is going to be full of organization, purging, um, donating type videos where we're going to be doing basically the entire property. Um, kitchen, office, closets, uh, bedrooms, all of that kind of stuff. We're going to be going through everything, deciding what we're keeping, what we're donating, um, throwing away, and we're going to start packing stuff up, getting things ready for when we do move out of here. That way, when that time comes, it's going to be so much easier to just leave. That way we don't have the stress of packing and trying so hard to get all of our stuff together and, you know, we don't have to throw them in trash bags and stuff like that that we had to do years and years and years ago. This time we're going to give ourselves plenty of time to get the boxes together, get them packed up and not move with all of the things that we have currently because a lot of the stuff that we have, we really don't need anymore. So that's going to be dealt with as well. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm so grateful for you guys. I love that you come and you spend some time with me every week. If you like this video, make sure that you hit the like button below and subscribe and stay tuned for all of the great videos that are coming. I hope you guys are having a really great holiday season so far. Stay tuned for more great content to come and I'll see you in Saturday's video. Bye guys. <music>